This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Emery Waller. On today's Global, President Putin says NATO has failed to satisfy Russia's security demands, but he says he doesn't want war in Europe. Vladimir Putin meets Germany's Chancellor Olaf Scholz in Moscow. No sign of any real progress. We need to resolve this question now. We need to resolve this now over the course of these negotiations. Of course, we are very concerned. There are more than 100,000 troops, Russian troops, on the border with Ukraine, and we cannot, uh, we find this incomprehensible. Russia says it's pulled back troops from its border with Ukraine, but NATO says it's seen no evidence of a real de-escalation. We'll be live in Moscow and live in Kiev. Also on the programme, Novak Djokovic talks exclusively to the BBC, saying he's not anti-vaccine, but he believes in personal choice. The world number one tennis star said he'd miss future Grand Slam tournaments rather than take the Covid vaccine. Are you prepared to forego the chance to be the greatest player that ever picked up a racket, statistically, because you feel so strongly about this jab? Yes. And Russian teenager Kamila Velieva competes again at the Winter Olympics despite a positive drugs test. Hello and welcome to the programme. We start with the Ukraine crisis and mixed signals today. Russia's Defence Ministry said some troops have moved away from the border back to bases, but NATO's Secretary General said he hadn't seen evidence of a real de-escalation. The British Prime Minister added the intelligence scene on Ukraine is still not encouraging. In Moscow, Germany's Chancellor has met Vladimir Putin as last-ditch diplomacy continues. Olaf Scholz said war in Europe was unthinkable, but diplomacy wasn't exhausted. Vladimir Putin told a news conference Russia, of course, did not want war, but Moscow's concerns still hadn't been met. And significantly, the Russian president said he wanted to solve the issue of Ukraine's possible membership of NATO now. Have a listen. <laughs> 